Good afternoon, Cleveland Court families. This is Mrs. Rutenbar and Mrs. Cranick, and we are finally updating our video on our webpage. So welcome back, and we are going to try to do this once a week for you. Yeah. All right. So coming up this Friday, if your teacher has contacted you, we have uh, paper packs for you to pick up. Yes. So this Friday, May 1st, between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m., we are going to be giving out those packets and any other um, information that your teachers should have um, told you about. We're going to be doing that in the back part of the school where you would go pick up students during the car rider pickup time in the afternoon. Um, if you came um, earlier, a few weeks ago when we handed out packets, it's in the same area. So we're going to be back there um, starting at 11 o'clock on Friday. Yep. And the, and the tables are going to be set up by grade level. So if you have a fifth grader, you don't have to stay. The first table will be the kindergarten table. So just go around and look for the fifth grade table. Um, again, we ask that, you know, no one's hugging each other. We're keeping our social distancing and we're working on that. Yep. We are going to have some places for you to drop things off. So if you would like to donate old uniforms, if you're bringing back library books, if you have lost anything, if your kids have lost anything, or you have patrol belts to drop off, we will have boxes for those things for you to drop those into for us. And then we will use precautions to put those aside and um, quarantine those items for 14 days before we bring them back into the school. Yes, and our plan for the lost and found items, we have a ton of lost and found items still here at school. So the plan is that we're going to put those along the fence um, as you first come into the line. So you'll see those um, along the back side of the fence, kind of where the first grade buildings are toward out towards the portables in that area. So as you're coming through the line, that'll be the first thing you come to as those lost and found items. Um, and then, like we said, we will have um, boxes and things for the donated uniforms, if you have any of those, and the library books um, that need to be returned, and also for our fourth and fifth graders who are patrols, um, for your patrol belts, to drop those off. And Friday is PBS Day, so we are all going to dress up in our favorite PBS outfits that day. And if you are coming to get a packet, pick up a packet, please dress your kids up in their favorite PBS outfits, and we will be taking pictures. Or you can send a picture of your child in their PBS picture, and then upload that to our Facebook page under our... Um, our Fun Friday post. Yes, yeah. Fun Friday post. And the whole family can get involved, so if you want to dress up in your favorite country and western outfit... Go right ahead, or yeah. it, it could be um, a 50s outfit, or your favorite costume, or whatever you want to do. We want to celebrate the positive behavior we had in our students all year long, yes. and hopefully your kids have been earning their PBS points at home with you this month. Yes. <laughs> but we want to celebrate that. We're going to be dressing up. We would love to see you guys dressed up as well. Absolutely. And next week is Teacher Appreciation Week, so we would like to show our teachers our appreciation. And now that you're also a teacher... <laughs> Make sure you do something special for yourself. But we have some really some ideas of things that you could do for your teachers. Mm -hmm. You could um, send notes um, or emails to your teacher. You could send an electronic gift card to the email them an electronic gift card. Mm -hmm. Use your talent. So if you're good at drawing or if you can sing a song or perform a skit, yeah. do, you know, think outside of the box. Your teachers appreciate anything that they get from, from you guys. So do something special for them for next week. They would love that. Um, so enrollment, several of you have asked. If your students are already enrolled at Cleveland Court Elementary, you don't have to do anything. They just roll up and stay at our school. If you are new to CCE or you have an incoming kindergartner, we ask that you go online and fill out those online forms. Mm -hmm. And then go to the district website, polkschoolsfl.com, and all that information is there. Yeah. And then those of you who have asked for STEM questions for kindergartners, that will happen later this summer. If you stay tuned to our post, check us out once a week, and we will update that as soon as we get information from the district. That's right. All right. So those are all of our announcements. Cougars, remember, you are soaring to new heights, and you respect everyone's rights, and you'll learn something new every day. Bye. Bye.